Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 214 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the Warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, you can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. He lands a switch knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Going. Ooh, head kick lands. It was hurt. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. 
Nice punch here. Able to check the high kick. And they set her. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Here's a tight clip. Look for the knees to start. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big leg kick land. And he connects with the punch there. Doubles up on the jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big head kick land. Liver kick. Got the single collar tie. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the shot. Right hand punches the clinch. Plus right hand is true. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, but quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Lands with the right hand. Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Knee is blocked. Good stick. All right, here, final seconds of round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Round two is next. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not hit him, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Comes in close. Controls his opponent's posture and lands these nasty elbows. Real quick leg kick. Straight punch lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Throws the right hand there. 
And they separate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Misses with that punch. That's a good knee to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. They continue to exchange. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pockets. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Head kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he caught the kick. A beautiful leg kick throw. Whoa! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. And they separate. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Takedown defense holds up. Good punch. Over. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Left-right combo is good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Nice kick. Oh, he him. Oh, and he caught the kick. Final seconds here of round two. comes the separation now. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes, but this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to 
break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice right hand. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, hollow tie. That's a big strike right there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it in such a great performance. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at him drive his hand into the whole body with that body kick. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lance from the clinch. Punch to the body is blocked. Single color tie now. Can't take any of those. Better check. Beautiful body kick. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Beautiful head kick. He blocks the punch. And they separate. Visibly limping here. Big kick lands. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head kick. Throws the left hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Right now, we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? 
just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he observed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Punch is blocked. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Beautiful strike. Oh. Nice leg kick lands. the turnover in that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just oh. when he needed that. He's got hurt here. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Way to hide that leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, what a head kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And they separate. Dig and kick. Little single collar tie there. What a takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. Got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which Throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Real sneaky body kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. What a 
what a body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Final seconds here. I mean, look at the commitment to Shiki in this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. What a punch. Head kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ball oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate. When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. That one snuck in. Nice try. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Big kick land. Nice little shot. Now to go in the fight. No! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under three minutes now to go round five. Relax and set it up. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He's just trying to throw those kicks even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's out! It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by... Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also 
Most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.